Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, you're tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com. Uh, my name is Casey Kepley, and in today's video, we're going to cover the uh, explode command. Um, now, this revolves around uh, blocks, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to insert a block. Okay, so we're going to go to the Insert tab, select Insert, and I'm going to select a block so I can show you how to explode a block. Um, now, when you're exploding a block, okay, so we'll bring this title block in here. Uh, a block is basically multiple objects tied together into one, like one drawing. So you'll notice when I highlight over the block, everything is, is highlighted together. So, um, you know, if I were to move this, it's going to move the whole thing. Now, let's say I wanted to, like, just move an individual object inside this block. I'm going to have to explode it. And how you do that is, you know, basically, you're breaking up all these individual objects so that they're independent of each other. And the best way to do that is to highlight the entire block, okay? And then you're going to type in the explode command. So you type in explode, hit enter. And now you'll notice that every uh, every object is independent of the next. So if I click on move again and I highlight here and I drag, it's only going to move this one item or this one object instead of the whole thing. And that's how you explode a block. Now if I wanted to, to make sure that all this uh, goes back into... Um, a block again, you can either recreate it as a block, you know, it's a, using the W block command, or uh, you can join it. And I'm not going to use the join command here because it would take, <laughs> it'd probably take too long. I mean, we can give it a shot here. So you would highlight it and you just type in join. There's 21 objects discarded. <laughs> If you look up here, it says 54 objects converted to 7 polylines. Okay, so it tied these back in together, and it tied in all those, but it uh, discarded 21 objects from the operation. Um, so sometimes when you have a complex drawing like this, and you're trying to join everything, um, you know, you'll run into problems with joining everything together. Um, you could probably join everything if you went one by one individually and selected all these um, and then just joined them you know kind of in a sequential order but that's going to take too long you're better off if you just re um, recreate this as a block again just it's it's for time efficiency um, when you're drawing and, and AutoCAD and drafting uh, but for the sake of this video um, I just wanted to show you the explode command and how that uh, functions. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, go ahead and do so. You can also share and like this video if you if you found the information beneficial. Uh, I have a playlist or multiple playlists that I've created for the channel, uh, drafting tutorials, and I go over different commands that you can use. And I'm basically reverse engineering uh, AutoCAD, Revit, and Inventor. Uh, through the uh, stuff that I'm learning in my uh, college program that I'm taking right now. It's an associate's degree for AutoCAD um, technology and design. So that's all I have for today. Um, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys later.